And uh, can I do that one again? <laughs> Hola, Puerto Rico. Hola, todo el mundo. Hello, Puerto Rico. Hello, universe. This is Ashley Carino, Miss Universe Puerto Rico. I am really excited because today I'm going to go over this look. It's kind of like my everyday makeup look, also my stage makeup look, but if I wanted to do it for stage, I would just intensify it a little bit more and uh, I'm ready to get started. So I actually don't use sunscreen every day, I'll be honest, but I've realized that if I use a spray sunscreen, it will help me to actually use it because sometimes the liquid sunscreen either leaves a white cast or I feel like they're too thick. So I just go ahead and I spray a little bit of the sunscreen. That's not very attractive, but we're working on that. <laughs> and then I just pat and wait a little bit. I actually have really dry skin, but somehow it gets oily during the day. But in order for my makeup to look as smooth as possible, I have to use just like a moisturizer. So I go in and I apply some. And then from there, I start with the makeup. I use L'Oreal True Match. So depending on how much coverage I want, I continue putting on a little bit of foundation, but I think this is good. And then from there, I move on to the eyes. So I always like to do brown smoky eyes. A lot of people say that I have like, you know, cat eyes. Um, so I like to accentuate that a little bit more. And I just use brown colors. So I do a base. So this is the palette that I'm using. You can do whatever palette works for you. I just kind of go ahead and go with like a skin colored brown, give it like a base. And so once I have that, but now with the darker brown, I go ahead and pat a little bit on the corners. And this was actually my look for uh, Miss Puerto Rico, but it was more intense, it was intensified. But I can't walk around with stage makeup every day because I'm gonna look crazy. So once I have that, I like to go in and kind of like fix my eyebrows and I just go in and I kind of give my eyebrows an arc and elongate them a little bit because I have short eyebrows. I know that one thing that's the style now is kind of like brushing your eyebrows up. I like that, um, but for some reason, I don't know, I'm more used to like, I'm, I'm used to doing the sideways sweep. Um, so I think it's also what works for you and what you like. It's a matter of preference. But sometimes I feel like when I have, my, I brush my eyebrows up, I see like little hair sticking up and I kind of like want to cut them. So I just go sideways. And then I go in with brow gel, just to try to keep all of the little hairs in place. I have always wanted to participate in pageant. Not many people know that my very first pageant was actually Miss Florida uh, USA, which was last year. And I had, I have never participated in any pageant. I didn't know what it was like to be in pageantry. All of the hard work, I, pe I feel like people don't understand the discipline, the hard work, the dedication that goes into participating in a pageant. And I found that out when I participated in Florida. I was fortunate enough to win my very first pageant. I then went on to participate in Miss USA. Uh, it was an amazing experience. I learned so much from that. So much so that I was second, I came second uh, runner up and then I decided to participate in the Miss Universe Puerto Rico pageant where Puerto Rico is my hometown, my home country. I was born in Fajardo. And from there, I, I guess the rest is history. Feeling blessed and fortunate to be able to represent now all of my amazing Puerto Rican people in the Miss Universe pageant. So I am looking forward to that. But it's definitely been a process and God's timing is perfect. El tiempo de Dios es perfecto. I don't like using concealer that much, like a lighter concealer, because I feel like sometimes it leaves me a little bit gray. So what I like to do is I just use, uh, I highlight my face with baking powder. So this is the part where normally people would put in a lighter color concealer. But I go in with the powder. My face is dry, but it gets oily, so it's a combination skin and can be textured. I feel like the powder kind of helps fix all of that. And then this is the process where I also will look weird, so pardon. And now I'm teaching, I'm actually teaching my sisters how to do makeup. So before, I, the idea of makeup for me consisted of foundation or maybe a little bit of foundation, mascara, and lip gloss. And I still think that's kind of like the go-to look that you're always gonna look 
perfect with it. Uh, but now is when I'm playing around with different makeup looks, different concepts or different techniques. And so this is the one that I feel like has worked the most for me. So once I have that, I'm gonna do the contour. One thing that I have learned is that in order for, at least for me, for my nose to look a little bit more like narrow, I start from the eyebrow. So I go in here and I start contouring that part right here. And then I go down, all the way down. I kind of create like a straight line and then I blend. Initially when I started doing this, I, I had difficulty because I would just look like straight, a straight dark line. So now I'm learning how to blend it better. But again, it's all about playing around with the makeup look. It looks weird now, but trust the process. It's all about the process. And then I'll start blending it. And that's why kind of doing the brown eyeshadow works, because then I just blend it in with the eyeshadow. And at the end of the day, contour is all about giving depth to your face uh, using darker shades. So connecting it with my eyebrow gives, my, gives depth to my nose. Okay, so I'm studying aerospace engineering at the University of Central Florida, and I've always loved uh, anything that has to do with space. I remember that when I was younger, I would watch Star Trek, like I'm a diehard Trekkie fan, and I would see uh, the original series, especially because there was a female lead, one of the only female leads in the 1960s, and her name's Jehora. She was a linguistics engineer in Star Trek. And I would watch that and she was also, you know, dark skinned. And for me, that was like, oh my gosh, she's an engineer. She's traveling through the galaxy space. And that was a representation that I really liked. But when my, there was a period when my mom got sick, uh, giving birth to my baby brother, she uh, had to take blood thinners after the birth for six months. Uh, it was very difficult for my family. So we and I had to take the role of, you know, being like a mother. But I remember that when I would get home from school, after I finished everything, I would go home and watch Star Trek. And that's kind of like where the desire or the connection with Star Trek and engineering came in. I was like, okay, I want to do that. That was my escape. And I decided to just study aerospace engineering. And the rest is history. I'm just going to go in with a liner. Okay, so I went ahead and I lined my lips. So this is also the look that I had for Miss Puerto Rico. And then I just go in and the interior, I kind of do like a little pout and just add in a different color, a little bit lighter. So it kind of gives the illusion of like an ombre. I can go ahead and do the lip gloss, but I'm actually gonna save this for the end. Let me now add the blush and for me it's hard to find blushes that kind of go well with my skin tone so i just pack in the blush we have a group chat with all the girls um and so I, when i won they quickly added me in in the group chat and they were all so nice like congratulating me i was like oh this is gonna be a fun experience it's gonna be a good class so now i'm going to add my eyeliner i use infallible by l'oreal this is black, so I'm just gonna add a little bit because I don't wanna do too, I don't wanna have a dramatic look. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on, put on my eyelashes. This might take a minute, so we're gonna go to commercial breaks and be right back. You know what they say, Lieutenant. Be careful what you wish for, you may get it. And welcome back from commercial breaks. Uh, okay, so I just finished putting on my eyelashes and I think it looks good. If I wanted to intensify the look a little bit more, I would just add more like darker uh, brown, but it's a natural kind of semi-glam look, so I'm gonna leave it as is. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and put a clear lip gloss. So now that uh, the makeup's done, not too heavy, not too light, so almost like an everyday look, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Urban Decay setting spray, set in that makeup. <laughs> So this is my everyday makeup look. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys also enjoyed it. Until next time, this is Miss Universe Headquarters. Thank you.